Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I trust I find you well. It is a privilege to stand before you today and share my story of overcoming the odds, as has been shared eloquently by Ms. Odsey. My name is Tendai Matiza, and I'm in my third year study of electrical and electronic engineering, and I'm an exceedingly grateful and privileged recipient of a Moshao scholarship. My story began in one of the high density suburbs of Zimbabwe, called Chitungwiza, a place bedeviled by ills such as drug abuse, high crime, and school dropout rate. Uh, from an early age, I understood the value of a good education. Both my parents had never made it to university, and this adversely affected their financial well being. I decided I was going to pursue my academics so as to change my life, that of my family, and those around me. I excelled academically, attaining 12A grades in my O levels and three A star grades in my A levels. My mother sacrificed her life savings so as to send me to Telembosch University, one of the premier universities in Africa, so as to study towards becoming an electrical engineer. This would offer me the unique opportunity to be in a creative workspace with equally smart minds and over time to be nurtured into a world renowned engineer with a determination to bring about substantial change in the electrical engineering field. I'm pleased to say over the two years I've been able to maintain an average above 85% and I believe I'm on my way to attaining cum laude. Thank you. I've been a recipient of numerous accolades, notably a gold medal in the Zimbabwe Olympiad, Seniors Mathematics Olympiad and Gold and Key International Academic Honor Society invitation. I owe all of this success to hard work, support from those around me and blessings from faithful God. In view of my academic and non-academic achievements, I thought it was going to be easy for me to secure a scholarship once I arrived at university. This would alleviate stress on my mother who could not have comfortably afford my fees. However, it proved to be difficult to get a scholarship mainly owing to my foreign, to my foreign citizenship status, which is the tale of many other foreign students. I was yet to spend two years without any funding. I had to offer tutelage in mathematics at the expense of my study time so as to supplement the income from home which failed to fully cater for my living and academic expenses. I vividly remember periods when I had to go without required academic equipment such as lab tools and stationery. Moreover, I opted for the cheaper yet time consuming self-catering option. I however could at most times afford a single meal per day and at times had to, to attend class on an empty stomach and this would at times affect my concentration and my personal morale. The situation worsened as the economic atmosphere back home kept on deteriorating. By the end of my second year, my mother had exhausted all year savings and all year loan applications had been denied and dropping out of university was slowly becoming a reality. She was contemplating selling our house so as to cover my third year fees. My, my dreams were on the verge of mounting to nothing I had decided to look for a job, to gather some income, and then continue with my studies afterwards. It is during this painful period that I shared my story with several university staff members, notably the rector of the university, Professor Vim de Villers, who then alerted the Development Alumni Relations Department about my case. They recommended that I apply for a Moshao scholarship and, assist, and they also assisted with the appeal for support. A month down the line, I received a call from SDFRE Moshao's Western Cape representative, notifying me that my application had been successful. I was to continue with my education, but this time without any financial stress. The support for Moshao meant I was going to graduate. I was going to get that opportunity to be able to change my life. I was going to get the opportunity to be able to change the life of my mother, and in the long run, to be able to change the lives of those around me. Nothing is more exhilarating than to learn without, without having to be the brunt of financial hardships. It enhances success. Ladies and gentlemen, you are changing lives. By your contributions, you are allowing more medical students to graduate, hence ensuring better medical research. You are helping create more electrical engineers, hence better and more research in energy. These are just few examples of how you are bettering our tomorrow. And for this, I owe you my absolute eternal gratitude for what you have done and for what you have given and for what you hopefully continue to give. Students, they should be students. They should be, they should be resolute in their studies without financial difficulty impeding what they aim for. There still is a lot of work to be done. There still are more futures to be created and there still are more stories to be written. But for the work you have done, we say thank you. By danki, siyabu ngakakulu, tinotenda, and may God bless you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with the words, life is not measured by the number of years you live, but instead by the number of lives you touch. I thank you.